All right, welcome back, everybody. Talking about good old vitamin C. When I say vitamin C, I want you to say collagen. Vitamin C, collagen. Good. All right. So let's talk about the basics here. Uh, also known as ascorbic acid, what it's going to be used for is vitamin C is going to be needed for collagen synthesis. Uh, going to be needed for a lot of other things as well. However, uh, I don't have very many slides on this vitamin. I want to point the main things to it. This is going to be collagen synthesis. What happens if you can't make that collagen? You're going to get scurvy. Scurvy, my favorite, favorite disease. Um, vitamin C, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. It is a water-soluble vitamin. A, D, E, and K are going to be your fat-soluble. Everything else is going to be your water-soluble vitamins. There's the daily intake, who cares? And then uh, fruits and veggies are going to be your main source of vitamin C. So let's, let's kind of go off on a little aside for this. If you were a pirate back in the day, and, uh, and you're on a ship for, you know, two, three, four, five years at a time, um, it, you go to port, you drink your beer, you eat some meat, and you go back on your ship. You really don't get your fruits and your vegetables. You may have those those biscuits, those sea biscuits, but uh, but really fruits and vegetables don't keep very well on a ship. And you'd have fruit flies and everything. So so pirates really didn't have very many fruits and veggies. And that's why scurvy is associated with such a pirate disease. Pirates would commonly get scurvy because simply, simply because they were out at sea so long that they couldn't keep fruits and vegetables. So um, hence they would have collagen issues, they'd have bleeding gums, they'd have scurvy. Uh, vitamin C is absorbed in the intestines using the sodium channel, great, who cares. Well, let's get on to scurvy, my favorite. This is what I care about, at least. Uh, you have a lack of vitamin C, and I said you get scurvy. Now let's, let's figure out why. Uh, the why is the important part. You may be able to pass a few test questions with, uh, with that association. However, let's figure out why. So scurvy. Vitamin C is used as a cofactor for prolyl, and, prolyl hydroxylase and lysyl hydroxylase. Uh, these are used for the hydroxylation of proline and lysine, respectively, uh, residues in collagen. So if you don't have this, you don't have very stable triple helix. Uh, you don't have crosslinks. So collagen is going to be a triple helices. You're going to have three collagen fibers. They're going to twist around each other. Uh, they're going to be stabilized through this hydroxylation. And the prolyl and the lysyl hydroxylase enzymes are going to do this. So if you don't have vitamin C, those enzymes don't work, you're not able to form cross bridges, you're not able to stabilize that collagen triple helix. Uh, so what does this actually cause? This causes structural defects in the blood vessels, uh, you'll see problems with tendons, you'll see skin problems, you'll see bleeding gums, uh, wounds that just won't heal, you might have leg pains, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Collagen is throughout the whole body. Uh, very important, vitamin C. Uh, here's some other functions. Um, not important at all. Uh, I do want to make a little aside. Airborne, uh, it's a product out there used. They tout it for c cures the common cold, cures everything, created by a teacher or whatnot. Uh, has 1,633% of your daily recommended vitamin C intake. So maybe maybe there is an immune component to it, um, but if I were writing a test question, it would be about collagen for sure. Vitamin C. Uh, here's my work cited, Wikipedia, and also my medical school education. Thank you very much. Let's move on to vitamin D.